Hot on the heels of the 2.0 release, we're now on to Stable Diffusion 2.1. What do we get in this release? Well, we've got two new models, a 512 and a 768 resolution one, and a whole new data set that 2.1 was trained on. The previous release, 2.0, was trained with a not suitable for work filter too high therefore reducing the number of people in the data set the model was trained on. On the other hand, there was a lot of architecture and design and wildlife and landscape scenes in there, so the quality for that sort of thing did improve. For 2.1, the NSFW filters are a little bit less sensitive, but they have still reduced the majority of adult content. Stable Diffusion 2.1 was fine-tuned off Stable Diffusion 2.0, so now essentially you get the best of both worlds. You've got a model which can render beautiful architectural concepts and natural scenery, and also produce fantastic images of people and pop culture too. The new release delivers improved anatomy, apparently, and Hans is much better at a range of incredible art styles when compared to 2.0. I'll be using the automatic 1111 web UI. Very easy to download and install that. There are the instructions, just a number of steps, and you can get it running on Windows or Linux. You're also going to need the new Stable Diffusion 2.1 model, and of course, the configuration file as well. So here it is on the Stable Diffusion 2 Hugging Face site. If you go over to Files and Versions, and then select the version 2.1768 non-EMA pruned checkpoint. Click on that, click download, save that into your stable diffusion models directory, and you are almost there. All you need now is the stable diffusion 2 config file, so just download that config file, put it in there right next to your previous checkpoint there, the stable diffusion 2.1, and give it exactly the same name, so both files are named the same. And one thing to note with the 2.1 release is that it now expects full precision if you don't have Xformers installed. If you're getting black images, that's probably why. There are two options there on the Stable Diffusion GitHub page. They suggest using the environment variable attention underscore precision equals FP16, or if you're using the automatic 1111 web UE like I am, then you can run it with the minus minus no minus half option. Let's have a quick comparison of a variety of different prompts between Stable Diffusion 2 and Stable Diffusion 2.1. Now on this first prompt here, I've got a rat wearing detailed plate armor. And as you can see side by side there, on the left, we've got the 2.0 and on the right, we have 2.1. And the same again here for a matte acrylic face portrait of a space alien wearing a magnificent tiara. Again, on the left is 2.0 and on the right, 2.1. Seeing how well this thing can do different anime things as styles are meant to be better, here is an anime style illustration of a lovely village in a fantasy forest populated by mystical squirrels. And a quick test for surrealism. Here I have a woman singing opera on the moon, surrounded by a rodent chorus. And as hand anatomy has been thoroughly redone and improved, here we can see a photograph of a perfectly normal hand waving goodbye, not one made of spaghetti or with extra fingers. Mm, okay, I think there's still perhaps some work to be done on the hands. And finally, just a quick test on 2.1 without any negative prompt at all. So here is 2.1 on the right without any negative prompts and that same prompt in 2.0 on the left. Well, I know I've made my mind up which one is better. I certainly prefer 2.1, but which one do you prefer? Do you like having all the styles back, or do you prefer having the much better architecture? Do let me know down in the comments. And if you need any help with prompting on 2.0, have a look at this video.